It's Wednesday. And I actually, very last minute last night, got booked by a, a film school. It's the Art Academy in San Francisco. They're doing online classes, of course, and they needed actors. They've used me in the past, so they basically were like, we need an actor for tomorrow and next Wednesday. Do you want to do it? And I was like, sure, of course. Like, getting paid for acting, I can do it at home. I love that. So <laughs> my desk is actually over here. And uh, I set up a little ring light and my backdrop. So right now um, they're not using me, they're using other actors. Uh, so I'm just waiting around, but um, of course I'm more than happy to you know, have this opportunity to act and to be with um, student directors and student writers because they are going to eventually you know, work on real, or this is real, but work on professional projects. So that's what I'm doing right now. We have a few scenes. I just got this yesterday, so it's not memorized. I'm just reading it off the um, the page. The instructor in this course I've worked with before um, because I've done this in person years and years ago. Um, and it was really fun. She's super sweet and she definitely recognized me. She's like, hey, it's been like six years. And I was like, it's actually been three years, but it feels like six years. <laughs> It's Friday and yesterday I got a voiceover audition request and I've had this uh, voiceover set up. I got it for Christmas. Very excited. I've had it for a couple of months and I've been using it at my desk, but I've been wanting to set it up in my closet. And I moved my desk that used to be right there to my living room because I just wanted to be in the living room. And I realized, oh shoot, now I don't have somewhere to record my voiceovers because it's too echoey over there. And um, I just connected it to my phone right now now because it's a USB-C to a USB-C and it actually works so I'm gonna test it out today I'm about to record that voiceover audition using this phone so my phone is powering all of this and I have that little USB what is this called this little box I keep forgetting what it's called Jesus um, there's a lot of wires and I still need to clean everything up to make it work in here so I don't have to take it down every time but I'm going to um, record that it is a little bit later I did my hair and my makeup um, I mean my hair was pretty much already done but um, written out the script my lines are this much for memorizing I like to write it out and then say it a few times this is pretty easy nothing too crazy it's very conversational I also printed it out because I am going to be holding my sites during the zoom call so if I forget about something I can just look down I'm going to work on this for a little bit longer because I do think I can memorize it before it, it, the audition time I have just over an hour so I'm gonna work on it a little bit on and off so I can memorize this and then also start to memorize the other scenes for the Art, um, academy because the next and final rehearsal is Wednesday so it's you know about a week away but because I am a little busy right now during the week I am actually doing an office job right now so I was helping for a little bit and then they need more help so basically I'm helping Monday Tuesday Wednesday at an office unless I get an acting thing it's temporary I don't really know how long but because I know I'm a little bit busy during the beginning of the week I'm just gonna go ahead and start memorizing the scripts I'm I'm realizing I didn't really tell you guys about how I got in contact with the Art Academy. This one in particular is based out of San Francisco. I first heard of them through San Francisco Casting, so it's Casting Networks in San Francisco. I used to do a lot of work for them. You would go to their open auditions at the beginning of their semester they would have auditions and then you would go in and audition for that entire class or whatever you might fit for and one year i think i got or for one of the classes i think i got cast in like four or five of them and there was just like so many scenes i'll show you guys a little clip of one of the things i did with them thank you and why I'll be straight with you. In three years, you've never impressed a single person in this agency. I've asked everyone about your performance, right down to the night cleaning crew. They all think you're worthless. So then after that, I didn't have to submit anymore because the person that's in charge of casting at that academy would just send me emails whenever they were going to have open calls and um, she would just invite me because, you know, she's seen me a few times. So uh, she's really good at just remembering, you know, people that she wants to come back. And then she invited me to do the MFA auditions. Um, well, the, the auditions for the MFA films, which is what I'm doing um, today at 340. And those ones are actually not paid but you're getting footage for your reel which is exactly what I want to do because I haven't been working very much and 
in 2020 or 2021. I do want to get things that are more current because my hair is significantly longer than in the past. Um, my hair grows really fast and now I'm transitioning to, you know, having my hair long. So I don't have I don't think any footage in a professional setting, good quality, which these MFA programs um, should be. I've never done an MFA program shoot, but I've done the other ones. And even the other ones are usually really great quality, well edited, where good sound, um, good lighting, all of that. But I would love to do this because it's going to give me good footage. And then I'm going to be in that other short film that I got cast in a few weeks ago, the one I have a reading for tonight. So I'll have at least those two things to add to my reel for 2020. And then hopefully I'll continue to do things. Um, one of my friends who is in a band, they are doing a music video and he also invited me to be in that. And although that isn't going to be so acting related, it's going to be more of, you know, visual. It's like modeling or acting without words, which I wouldn't really want to put that in my reel just because I want to put things in my reel where I'm talking and I'm acting. Um, well, I'm acting while talking. For the MFA film, I know if I get cast, it's going to be filmed in San Francisco and they said it's going to be like five or six days. So I'm gonna need to figure out when those are and how I can make it work to go to San Francisco and um, you know balance everything else out. So now I'm going to continue to memorize some lines and then tonight um, at 6 p.m. I'm going to do the reading for that film I was cast in, that short film I was cast in a few weeks ago. We're gonna do our first reading today and then we're not gonna shoot until April, but I mean, it's like a month away. It's the very beginning of April we're shooting. Um, so that's it. I'm excited that this week started to pick up a little bit auditions wise because I was just looking at my audition tracker and there's not a lot of auditions for February. Which is funny because I really thought that February acting was going to pick up just from previous experiences, but that's like 2018-19, um, that acting started to pick up in February. But anyway, I should get back to memorizing the script. But the script is like just over a page I would say yeah just barely over a page and of course there's somebody else in the scene so it's not very long I'm gonna go over it a few you guys memorizing is oh. If you are an actor, you know that memorizing isn't so much fun. Like being in a scene, acting is really fun, but I don't like memorizing. Like I do it and it's exciting to memorize things quickly. And of course you need to practice in order to make that happen. But my brain, I've noticed that after like 15 to 20 minutes, it just wants a break. I've started to do this memorizing exercise of memorizing for 15 or 20 minutes pausing going to do other things and then coming back to it. my brain will absorb so much more if i actually give it a break and when i don't want to do it anymore i don't do it and then actually come back to it oh and something i forgot to tell you that at this art academy they also often work in professional you know doing professional projects and I was in a PSA for the fire department in San Francisco as well so um, the same casting director actually invited me to audition for this I believe it was a project where they have these students um, work together with a professional um, you know somebody that wants a professional job made and for this one like they had a helicopter they had like of course entire crew there were students there the firefighters even that real firefighters were in this PSA and I actually found that PSA come on come on no, come on get in the water. come on in come on in you got a wetsuit come on no. And for that one, I also auditioned at the Art Academy and everything. So um, that same day, I auditioned for a few other commercials that they were working on. Um, but this is the one I got cast in. And it was so much fun. There was a real firefighter there, or like a few firefighters. And one of them, <laughs> one of them actually like gave me one of his shirts because he was like, oh, I wish I could give you something to like you know to thank you for doing this and i was like it's like i'm an actress it's okay he's like no no here take my shirt and like he gave me his shirt um it's somewhere i think it might be in storage because like i share a closet with my boyfriend but it was just so funny that like a firefighter gave me his shirt but i felt weird like not saying no but i also wanted it because it was like cool a firefighter shirt from san francisco um but yeah this was a few years ago it was just a funny situation 
It's about 10 minutes before the um, Zoom audition, so I'm setting everything up right now, making sure everything is good. If they ask me to do a full body shot, I'm ready for that. I have my shoes right here, so I'm gonna grab them, put it next to me, and then um, I'm wearing the best outfit that I think is good for the character. Um, and the lighting is good. Right now is like perfect time because right now is the time of the day where there's actually a little bit of sunlight that comes into my room. So the lighting is extra good. It's just being filled by some, my, by my ring light that I use for every audition. So I'm going to continue to go through my lines and then wait for my turn to audition. Okay. I just got done doing the audition for the art Academy and it was really fun. I read it a couple of times and they gave me some more notes and then we improv a little bit, which was nice. Cause I'm so used to just staying on, you know, on the script, but it was nice to, um, do a little bit of improv and uh they it's today's their first day of auditions and they're going to, it sounds like they're going to be doing a lot of auditions usually for the student, um, scenes of student films they do tend to do a lot of auditions and i think it's because you know they're learning about casting they're learning about directing about all of that um for this one in particular it is the mfa program so they do know quite a bit about it i imagine that they want to see as many people as possible so that the you know the instructors can tell them this one was good because of this you know these are the people that you should consider or what did you think about this and just comparing a lot of actors so you can really get to know how to direct actors in the audition process and um they can because the writer wrote um the person whose project this is for their mfa gave me direction and then um jaina gave me direction and then i think there was one other one i think the first time oh yeah the first time i just did it by myself like how i prepared it um so yeah there's a lot of auditions so i probably won't hear back about this for maybe a week or more um but it was fun now i have a little bit of time before my reading tonight for my uh before the reading for the other short film that I'm going to be in. So I'm just going to relax for a little bit. It's Friday. It's time for my reading for the short play or the short film I'm going to be in. So I'm making some tea and I'm going to go bring the backdrop so that I have a plain backdrop instead of my living room. the reading rehearsal is over um and it was pretty easy just you know a read through we're gonna have another rehearsal and i'm gonna have a rehearsal with the um lead singer of the band who we're gonna you know do a few rehearsals for my beautiful voice i'm really excited to be working on this short film because a lot of my fear of self-submitting, because this was one of the occasions where I self-submitting, is that it's not going to be a COVID safe environment. And this very much sounds like they're taking it very seriously. It's going to be a maximum, I think, of 20 or 21 people on set, including all of the actors. So, of course, that's good. There's some outdoor scenes. The scene that I'm in, I know, is indoors in like a club setting. Uh, the room is going to be big. Um, and then a maximum of 20 people on set. So we should be able to social distance and, distance and all of that. Um, but I'm excited to be doing this. Oh, and I almost forgot. Um, before this rehearsal, I got an email from somebody that I auditioned for a while ago. And um, they want me to do some social media commercial. Um, it will, it's, it's a short commercial for, I think it's a gaming app, um, like a phone game app and it's going to be running on social media. So it's just like a short film at home, which I'm excited to hopefully get booked for that because it's a film at home and I haven't done anything that I'm getting paid for to film or record at home. That voiceover audition I did today is also a record at home. So maybe I'll be doing two of them in one week because that voiceover is next Thursday if I get it. And then if I get this um, social media gaming commercial, it sounds like it'll be pretty soon because it's you film it at home. So you just do it, you know, as soon as possible. But um, maybe I'm going to get that. Okay, hold on because I just got an email from those people and they're actually going to send me some equipment to film at home and they're going to send me a script and a shot list and all of that so i have officially booked this 
film at home commercial. Um, so I will make sure to include it in the vlog for next week. It was a pretty slow start to the week, but then it picked up a lot today. Um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. At the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment. Mm -hmm.